Hey team, so I had a lot of questions about my Amazon flip key that I bought for my Jeep Wrangler uh, JKU that I've got here. This is the key. I had it cut at Home Depot. Home Depot did it for free. They're going to try to tell you that you have to program it and blah, blah, blah. Just let them know, nope, I don't need any of that. Just I just need the key to be cut. Uh, it does work. That's lock. Unlock. I really don't want to do panic, but if you have remote start, you just press this twice and remote start will work. I don't have remote start from the factory. I've got a JKU Sport. Also, uh, I'm able to start the vehicle just fine. And I did all of this through JSCAN. With JSCAN, I was able to program this key to work um, here on my JKU, and I only had one factory key because I bought this Jeep Wrangler pre-owned, and it only came with one factory key. You do not need two factory keys. And I'm gonna show you how to do that here in JSCAN. Hey team, so just wrapping up on this video on how to get your uh, pin so that you can program your, your key. Um, I've already got Bluetooth turned on. If you don't have it turned on, go ahead and turn it on. I'm going to tap on VPeak because that's the adapter that I'm using, my OBD2 adapter. Then you're going to go to Adaptations. From Adaptations, we're going to go into Ignition Key Programming Settings. And from there, we're going to click on Pin Reading Beta. Now I've got a Jeep JK, and so my target value is going to be WCM1 Supplier 1. I'm going to click Go. And there's my pin, 2331. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to go back over here. Ignition key programming beta is next. We're going to click on go. This function is to be used when programming a new ignition key or reprogramming an existing. It will program the WIN functionality along with the RKE functions. Ignition should be in run position while running this function. Here's the thing. Your key that you're trying to program is the one that needs to be in the ignition and set to the run position. So don't turn on the engine and you need to go get your key cut, obviously. So you're going to stick that in to the ignition, turn it on to run, then you're going to click go. Do a little waiting. And that's going to ask for the pin number. Boom. So I put my pin number in, which I'm currently in the demo position because I don't want to program I don't want to reprogram my key. So this is just a demo. This might fail. Yeah, something went wrong. Cycle ignition start one more time. But yours won't fail.